What's up? What's up, everybody? This is Jay. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you all for stopping by. Um, Normally, I do the Friday fuss, but this week I got something different, something special. I got a special guest from the hit show, The Shy, and he's going to join us uh, this this, uh, evening. Um, You all know him as Emmett's dad, okay? And it's Mr. Rolando Boyce. I'm going to bring him on in. You know him as Darnell. And uh, without further ado. All right, all right. Thanks for joining the show. I appreciate you. Oh, for sure, for sure. What's happening, Jay? Hey, nothing much, nothing much. Hey, I'm just hanging in here. I'm glad you stopped by. Um, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, no problem, man. Uh, my channel, I do reviews for movies, TV shows, and one of my biggest shows I do is The Shy. <laughs> and me and my fans, we all love your work, love the show, and we all happy to have you, man. Oh, that's love, man. That's love. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I love being on the show, man. Oh, definitely, definitely. Um, now, um, before we get into talking about the shy, mm-hmm. um, just a little bit of background about you, like where you have come from, where what your experiences was growing up. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 from I'm from Chicago, uh, born and raised on the South Side. Uh, uh, all over the South Side, you know how people bounce around, man. But I've been, I grew up like in uh, on the low end, like around in Lake Meadows, like 34 from Cottage. Um, stayed like on 66 and never hard and, you know, South Shore Drive, all over High Park, all over the place, man. So, um, that, that's where I, I grew up. I went to, uh, high school out there. Then I went away to college, um, in, in Texas, Texas Southern University. Um, I didn't actually study acting when I went to school. I was, uh, thought I was going to be a pharmacist, started doing pre-pharmacy. Till I realized I couldn't stay in science. So then I, uh, I was just bouncing around, man, trying to figure things out. I actually joined the reserves. I was a, a part of the uh, Gulf War uh, back in the 90s. And after I uh, came back from there and just trying to figure out my life, that's when, uh, that's when acting uh, kind of came into my life. And, and it, was, it was just a bug, man. And once I hit that bug, it, it, I, I knew that there was nothing else I could do, you know? Right, right. That's cool, man. That's what's up. Um, touching back, you say you was in the the Gulf War. The, what was that like? Desert Storm at time. What was that like? Yeah. Oh man, it was. I was a kid, man. I was like twenty years old, so you know, uh, I was probably one of the youngest in my unit. Um, you, you know, being that it was a war, you know, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a war, but you know, with the situations, I mean, it could have been Vietnam. Could have been. You know, Afghan it could have been something different, and actually, that war was it was pretty quick. You know, what I mean, we was kind of in, we was out in like a couple of couple of months, and, uh, and and once I got back, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm done with this. I I, I can't go. To, I can't keep going through this no more. Because I, ain't, right. I, mean, I, I even at 20 years old, I was like, I don't think this is gonna be over with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, movies and things make it look exciting, but when you're there, you know, hey. This yeah. this ain't a game. It ain't no game at all. <laughs> yeah, at all. right. My dad was actually in the Marines in Vietnam era, mm-hmm. so he he loved it, but at the same time he was real with it. So although he wanted me to do it, oh, the yeah. realness stuck out too much. Where I'm yeah. like, let me see what else is out here. Yeah, 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 <laughs> for, sure, for sure. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, you know, look. It, 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 every different strokes for different folks. Some people right, right. In it and they love it, and that's their thing. It's just I knew I had a different calling, so right, what it was right, right. Mm-hmm. I understand. So, um, you say when you got back, the acting bug got you. What really? How did how did it get you? What made you decide? Oh man, this this might be something. Uh, well, you know what? I I, uh, I remember like it was, I think it was something always in the back of my head. And I would see movies and I'd be like, man, I think I can, I think I can do that. You know, just, you know, a couple of movies that really, you know, uh, do the right thing and, and Malcolm X and um, one that I'm really fond of with uh, 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 Sean Penn, uh, Dead Man Walking, um, you know, um, just 
some some of the movies that I saw, I just I was feeling you know moved from it, and I, and I was like, man, I want to be able to move people through doing that, you know. And mm-hmm. I and, and it was I was living in Houston at the time, so I was like, well, I don't see how that can happen. Then I'm mm-hmm. uh, uh, I was uh, I was married. I was married before. I'm married now, but I was married before, and we got separated. And I moved back to Chicago, and I started waiting tables, and I. I met someone there and she was she was acting and I was like, oh man, I always thought about that. And she was like, well, you should do it. I was like, I should do it? She was like, yeah. I was like, well, how do I do that? She was like, you know, just take some classes, get you some pictures, learn a monologue, start auditioning. And I was like, that's it? And she was like, yeah, to get started. And I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. And once I did, man, that was, that was it. And And I wanted to learn you know, through the theater. I wasn't actually even thinking about TV and film at the time because all the actors that I appreciate and love came up through the theater. So I wanted to learn how to do that. And and, and I, I had that theater bug and I was doing theater in Chicago for maybe about 10 years before I did any TV and film. Um, and, you know, and the reward is, you know, that I can do it and, and I have the, the, um, uh, the training to to do anything now. Yeah, man, that's 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 great, man. I appreciate uh, you telling telling me that because not only me, but I'm sure other people, you know, see stuff and probably think that. But mm-hmm. then, you know, we always talk ourselves out of stuff. You know, mm-hmm. more than anything, everybody, we always harder on ourselves, discourage ourselves. And so I, I appreciate that because, you know, you had saw it, you had the courage to go for it and look at you now, you know. So everything yeah. that people do start in the mind first, you know. You're you absolutely know. right. So, You're absolutely right. And we do sometimes talk. And I think, you know what, it's funny you bring that up because I, I remember when I was thinking about doing it and I was probably around 25, 26, something like that. And uh, I was scared to, to tell anyone, you know. And, um, and you know, because also because, you know, uh, growing up around me, I, I never, I, I didn't know nobody who was acting, you know, it wasn't nobody I could lean on or, you know, try and get some advice from or anything like that. And I remember I tell, told, telling my best friend, uh, and, uh, and I told him, and I was expecting, you know, just like a crack or something like, like, man, get out of here. You can't do that shit. And he was, you know, he just said, hey, man. Go, go for it, man. Go ahead and do it. And once he said that, you know, it was just like, I mean, I didn't need anything else from anybody else. If he was like, you should just do it. And I was like, man, hell yeah. Let me, let me go ahead and you give it a shot, man. And, and that was it. And there's been some people, you know, close friends of mine who, you know, been, been coming to see my shows and things like that ever since I was, you know, started at ETA on the South side and, uh, and, 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 and been, been in my, been in my corner ever since. Man, that's dope, man. That's great, man. Yeah. So, yeah, man, y'all out there listening, you may be that one person, you know, like in that one, he needed just that one. You may be that one. So, you Mm -hmm. know, always stay positive. You never know when you may be saying that one thing to that one person that may click. Yeah. Just give it, stay positive, you know, be positive. And give it a shot. You know, you can always. You know, I'd rather, you know, that w- 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 could have, would have, should have, you know, just just give it a shot. If you feel like you want to try and do it, you know, do it. But it's, you know, some some people may, you know, not with just acting, but anything, you know, it's not don't do it for the do it all for the right reasons. You know, uh, don't right. do it. Don't do it for the money or don't do it for the fame and like that, because that might that could happen. It could not happen. You know, do it because you want to do it, you know, and uh, for, like I said, for me, I was just, I wanted to do theater. If I would made it on a TV show or something like that, I wasn't even thinking about that. I just wanted to, I like the, the being able to hit the audience and afterwards, you know, you can see and feel from an audience member that that you've moved them. You know, that's the beauty of, of this, this business that we're in. Um, but, you know, it, you know to, to think that, you know, it was a quote that, um, you can look it up. Uh, it's Don Cheadle uh, was asked. I think I can't remember what interview he was on, but he was at. Someone asked him. He was he was referring to how sometimes people come up to him and say, um, you know, I want to be an actor. And he's like, well, do you want to be an actor or do you want to be a celebrity? Because if you want to be an actor, you can. You know, are you reading some scripts? Are you taking some classes? Are you 
you know, getting together with people. Thinking, That's all acting. He said, but if you're, if you're thinking that you just want to, you know, get on the TV show or get on a, a movie, you know, you say the two things are going to happen. is Either you're going to get there and they're going to realize you have nothing to back it up or, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to last, you know. So it's, it's always doing it for the right reason. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, one thing I do want to touch on, on the kind of humorous side, and I want to know a little behind the scenes if you can. Yeah, yeah. Your first start, one of your biggest breaks was in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, he was Rufus and trapped in the closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that about? What could you tell me about that? Oh, man, that was... Um... Well, first, first of all, I'll tell you, you know, it's funny that we was talking about talking yourself out of something. Mm -hmm. So this was around, you know, earlier in my career. And I was, um, I was, uh, uh, you know, acting, doing a lot of theater and, you know, a couple of auditions for TV and stuff like that came through. And I remember my agent called me and she was like, you got a, you got an audition for R. Kelly video. <laughs> and I was like, um. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is, I don't think this is for me. I don't, I, I don't, sing, I don't dance. you know what I mean? Cause I was like, I don't, you know, right. music video. I'm like, I don't, I don't right. dance and all that stuff. So I was, she was like, no, 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 this is, this is something a little different. And I, I remember going to the audition. I can't remember where it was sometime, somewhere downtown or something like that. And I was actually at work. I took my lunch break and was trying to run over to the audition. And when I got there, man, when I tell you it was so, I'd never been at an audition where it was so many people. It had, wow. to be, it had to be at least over a hundred people. Cause I remember there were numbers they were giving out. Wow. I want to say my number was like 44. And I remember waiting. I was there over, it was over an hour and I was looking around and, you know, it was, you know, it was big buff guys. It was model, model looking guys and, you know, you, different, you know, girls, whatever the case may be. And I was thinking to myself, man, I ain't going to, I ain't going to get this. But I said, well, shit, I done waited an hour. Let me just let me just wait it out. Just go in there, do what I got to do, and just break. And they already were telling people, like, you know, don't take no time. Just go in there, do what you got to do. So I went in there. I did my did the part that they gave me or whatever the case may be. I'm headed for the door, and the producer, uh, producer stopped me. And she was like, well, you know, hold on a second, Rolando. You know, just looking at your resume, you know, you've done a lot of theater. I said, yeah, yeah, I've, I've done some stuff. She's like, oh, well, that's good, you know, because we really want someone who, who's a, a good actor for this role. Um, you know what? Yeah, she asked me if was I familiar with the song. I was like, no, I'm not. And she's like, well, I'm gonna email you the song. I want you to go home. I want you to. You don't have to sing it, but just um, uh, lip sync to it and come back tomorrow. I was like, all right. So I left, and when I came back the next day. It wasn't a hundred people. It was probably like fifteen people. And uh, and when I I it was they called a girl in first, and she was like in there for like ten minutes. I was like, oh man, this is I'm gonna be waiting here all day long again. And luckily, I was the second second person they called. So when I went inside, uh, the, and they were like, you know, Rob really likes you. We really like you. You know, you're like one of our top choices for it. And uh, they had me do the scene with her, and then she left. And then the producer, actually, you know, afterwards was like, you know, it's going to come out later on that this character is, is gay. Do you have a problem with that? She's like, you don't have to do anything physical. But I was like, you know, I'm fine. And and that was it. I got the call later on and, and got the role. But had yeah. I talked myself out of it, I wouldn't even got that. And, right. uh, you know, and, and it, you know, for the popularity of it, it, it was just huge. It was nothing. Right. Nobody's ever done anything like that. You know, I wish like the money. musical almost. It, yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. It really was. You know, I mean, back then, man, it was. I couldn't go nowhere in Chicago. Everybody, <laughs> you know, I was. Like, hey, on, bus. Yeah, I was. I would, be, I would be on the bus like this. You know, what I mean, you drive, uh, ride past right. some high school students, man. They're gonna bust you out big time. So yeah, was, definitely, definitely. Uh now let me ask if they said it was anything physical at that time with it, what would it have made you uh change your mind or made you think differently or maybe, what? Maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. You know, and you know what when when they told me, um uh, at the time I have I have two I have four kids, but I have two older kids, and they were like preteen age around then 
And and I remember going back home and I asked them, I said, you know, would they be all right? And they was like, no, nah, go ahead, do it, you know? And that, that gave me, made me feel, because I didn't want them getting teased at school, like, oh man, you know, something like that. You know, this is, again- People don't understand and this yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and take you know, stuff too far, right. Yeah, and where we are now, uh, with the you know with the gay community is is not how we were back then you know yeah yeah it's made a big difference in just years so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but but I I think it was very it was very tasteful nothing you know was everything was perfect to me mm. uh, and, and you yeah. know, people people still you know I, I might be in the store you know today and people still remember that video man. Yeah. I mean, I rewatched it again because we was going to do this. And I mean, I was laughing, man. I mean, it's a trip. I couldn't watch all 30, but I watched no, it. He got don't, and then he missed the bid or whatever. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a trip. Yeah, he, yeah. That's an imagination. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. He was very, very, very creative, yeah. man. Very creative. Now, I want to ask you this that I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm thinking that I'm, you actually met your wife on there. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, yeah. So my wife, uh, she's she's in the other room, but uh, my wife, uh, we met. She she played my wife on the video, Kathy, Lachey, <laughs> right. Tom, Lachey Tomlinson, Lachey Tomlinson voice now, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and we met. In fact, when I walked up the first time, it's funny how words can, how strong words can be. She she's first thing she said to me was, "You must be my husband." And 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 there you go. You know, wow. A couple of years later, we did. We did that, so. Wow. That, that's 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 cool, right there. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. You yeah. never know how life works out, man. You never know, man. You never, never know. know. And just think, if you would have talked yourself out of it, not only would you not have that gear, you wouldn't have had the love of your life. Your oh, life man. went in a totally different direction. Totally different. You never know, man. You, you never, never know. know. That's yeah. true, man. Wow, that's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. and so, so always just, you know, I learned that lesson. Like I always, if, if something comes up, I'm like, you know what? Let me just do this. Let me just do this. Let me put my put my best work in and mm -hmm. see what happens. Mm -hmm. If I get it, I don't get it, whatever. The case, because you never know, mm -hmm. even even if it's a even if it's a project that you think, ah, oh, well, I, you know, th th this ain't going to make or break me. But you never know who you're working with in the, in the relationships and who the connection you can make. Um, you know, it's just, you just never know. I got a good friend of mine uh, that's out here. He used to be my barber back in Chicago and he has two boys. Boys are incredible. Uh, uh, Dante and Dusan Brown. And, uh, and du du Dusan is in high school. And, uh, and he's just, he has such a creative mind. And he does projects. He had to do projects for his school. And, you know, he called me up. His dad called me up and was like, you know, can you come help out? You know, he has to do a project. He has a role for you. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'll come. Because mm. when that kid uh, finishes college and he becomes the next Spike, mm -hmm. I want to mm -hmm. be on the list of actors that he can he can bring in. So mm -hmm. uh, it's all about the relationships, man. The relationships that you went. In fact, and I don't want to keep going on with this, but the producer... Yeah. The producer from Trapped in the Closet that that called me in and was like, "Hang on one second. Mm -hmm. It's what she's producing now. Oh wow, the shot. Yeah. She's wow. a producer on the shot. Okay, yeah. Is that what uh, Miss? No, that wasn't Miss. Uh, no, not, not, not Lena Waite. Her, okay. no, her name is Shelby Shelby Stone, but she's not okay. the on the shot. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that's great. That's yeah, wow. So yeah, man. Uh, for everybody out there listening, man. Just treat people good in general. You never know. It, it, it can't come back bad on you. Nobody going to get mad. Hey, man, he treated me too good, man. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never treat me nice again, man. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so at the very least, it, it can't come back on you. you know? exactly. It may not be the greatest, but at least it won't be nothing bad. So, right, right, right. You know, exactly. yeah. All right, now let's get into the shy. All okay. Right. <laughs> now, um... The Shy, we all know, has had a lot of stuff go on. It's a great show. A lot of people like it. We got introduced to your character, Darnell, in season two. Right, Am I right? right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and you was in there for like five episodes. Right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. right on. I, mean, I like to like to know what I'm <laughs> talking about. I, mean, I don't want to sound too bad. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, he was there for five episodes, introduced as Emma's dad. Mm -hmm. Um 
had a lot which, of which stuff actually, going. Which, which originally, originally was supposed to be three episodes. Okay. So when you I did such that. a good job, they needed you back for two more. Hey, there you go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's a good no, way to get called that. back. Is, you right, know, right. Let your work be, speak for itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I like that. And uh, so he, he seemed like maybe he was a little wild when he was younger with the ladies and running the streets. But now as he was older, you know, got the woman and good relationships with the baby mama still. Yeah, yeah. Figured you know, out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and then he even told Emmett that one time, "Hey, look, you could keep lying or you could come correct." Right, 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 right. You right. know, so mm-hmm. even though he may have this and that, like most guys are gonna see him as a good dude, right? And right. even the ladies, although some ladies may have a problem with him with other ladies, but that don't mean you a bad guy. It just no. means you know. He, he just got a wandering eye. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all got a pop knocking back in there and I did it. We good to go, you know. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so um, you know, we saw him again in season three, and he looking at, you know, Dom. Everybody wondering what's going on. Emmett got his restaurant going on and right, right, he wanted right. to get a little free plate. He didn't know it was rump roast on the menu back then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He might have to get a to go bag. Delivery. So what what you think about that? What do you think maybe could possibly be in the future works for uh, Darnell? Know, it's so many, it's so many different ways that they can go with it, you know. And I and I, I don't, you know, I wish I was in the writer's room when they're when they're putting it together. Mm-hmm. But I, uh, uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, Lena, uh, Lena Wade had a uh, Instagram live and was bringing on different cast members. And, and she brought me on and just said, you know, we got we got so many layers that we're going to, you know, unravel for Darnell in, in the next season. I mean, even though the next season hasn't been announced, but I mean, she's speaking it into existence. So I'm going to speak it into, exi- into mm-hmm. existence. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, you know, who knows? I mean, it could be something with Dom and, and Darnell, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I think it would be really nice to see like um, uh, uh, Darnell either help Jada or Jada help Darnell in some kind of way. I mean, they're, they're always kind of tied to each other. Mm-hmm. And, we, and I think we we play off each other so, so cool. You know, uh, Yolanda, Yolanda Ross, I mean, it, it, it's, you know, uh, it's just it's so it's funny it's funny yeah. the way, you know the Especially way the we, first episode of season three when y'all were going to the wedding yeah Walking yeah and you know what it, like it, that. It, it, it's uh there, there was something we think natural yeah it, it was it was uh the director was like i want y'all to come in and, and take these seats right here on the end and so i was walking in in front and i was like you know i don't want to say most like a real gentleman but you know you know, something. If we were together, maybe I might let her sit down first. But we wasn't together, nothing like that. So I just took the, I took the first seat, and she had to climb over me, and it was just something to make her get irritated. And it was just, it just worked. You know what I mean? So, and that's that stuff is not written in the script. That's just something that we can play off each other. So I think that that, uh, you know, that kind of thing can can continue to happen. And, and of course, more scenes with Emmett, with Jacob uh, Lattimore, who's incredible, incredible, man. We, me and that kid, man, we just have so much fun. I love y'all chemistry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, now, I, why I, Emmett ain't told him about that Bluetooth? Why he ain't say, hey, look, Pop, we got to update that. We got to, that's too big. It's down now. It's you know, like you're working at, a, you know, Airport terminal or something. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I, 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 I'm thinking. I, I thought they might brought it up in, C, in season two. It would be just something to, you know, maybe a, a gift or something like that. You know, give them some AirPods or something like that. I don't even know if I don't even know. If Darnell, I don't know if Darnell will take it, but I mean, it would be funny. Right. It, it calls may not sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you know that whole thing. I mean, it's I've been seeing so many memes and all kind of stuff with the with the ear, ear uh, with the Bluetooth man, and and that that was that wasn't me. That was like part of the character when I when I got the role. They were like, you know, I remember talking to one of the directors like he's got this Bluetooth. He's in his sweatsuits. I was like, all right, you know, and and now when I when we're on set. And I'll have on my wardrobe or whatever, and the the prop person will come over and she'd be like. 
I'm, I'm like, I'm wearing it again. She's like, yeah, they want you in there again. <laughs> so, it's, it's, so, so they ain't gonna let you forget. They ain't gonna, they gonna, let, me, they ain't gonna let me forget. No. It's Cause I was tripping when y'all was with Emmett and y'all about to get the massage. He bucket naked, but he got it. You can't even get the calls. You left the phone in the locker. How you gonna get the call? You ain't got the hey, phone. Hey, hey, maybe, hey you know, know. What, maybe that antenna piece, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> It's an extension, so maybe maybe he can still. I don't even know how he went. I guess yeah, you can answer. It's it probably that. like a landline cord connected to that boy. <laughs> never leave home without it. <laughs> oh man, it's it's funny, hilarious. But you know, it's like cats that be, some people will stop me, uh, you know, on, on the street or if I'm working out or something like that out somewhere, and they'd be like, "Yo, I know dudes like that. You you remind me of somebody. You know, one of my boys." That I grew up with, he said, "Man, you you remind me of my dad on on that, you know, something like that." So it, it's just cool, man. That's, mm -hmm. that's that's what that's what. If anything else, I want people to be able to relate to uh to to the to the character, you know, what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, and not to make them any kind of a, a, a joke, a character, right, you know? right. He, he's a real person, you know. So I don't even, you know, when I read it, the script, I'm like, that's pretty funny, but I don't I don't play it for the laugh. I just play it real and, right and, and playing it real gets the laugh you know right right yeah because actually he don't really make jokes no he just saying stuff he like man where the strippers man, yeah. man talk too much <laughs> he was joking he was for real he yeah, right, 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 right. man I ain't got time I too much. <laughs> right <laughs> that's what's so funny he like for real like i'm not playing like right, right. Better get you some peace and quiet. She gonna exactly. you, okay? be miserable for the rest of your life, man. Men laughed at that joke hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that was good, man. I like that. Uh, you know, it's interesting, and uh, I want to see you know more of the development of Darnell because you know, uh, it's hard to say one way or another, but. It's a drama show, of course, mm -hmm. but all the dudes got problems one way or another or right. end up dead. Right. right so right. let's see at least one dude try to make it and do something and be, you know, somewhat of a, you know, positive in it. Not to say people looking at show for role model, but, you know, depiction matter. And, hey, yeah, he may be this or that, but he trying to do this. He trying to do that. He there. And. Yeah. And you gotta keep in mind, it is the shot. So you know, Chicago, it's a hustle mentality. You know what I mean? And 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 I, I remember when I was uh, auditioning for it, and I would I was studying, more studying Jacob and and Emmett, and 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 looking at him and his hustle. You know, he was just a constant hustle, and that's you know, same thing with Don. Even like when they. Uh, was getting the the wedding uh, outfits and he was like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, my boy hooked it up. You know, he got it. You know, right. You know, don't worry about it. That's Chicago you know style. Saying? Yeah, that's that's the Chicago yeah. style. You Just like you were speaking earlier about, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Like what what I got to lose. You know what I'm saying? Go for right. it. When you were saying that's how it is. Like man, you didn't been through so much that you like, man, this thing. Like, what's the worst that could happen? You know, I'm gonna go for it. I didn't get shot at been in the war. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going right. to go for it, you know? And that's right. the thing. And I, I, you know, I, I like that that come out in the show and that they show that, you know? Exactly. Exactly. And and it's, you know, it was, uh, that was him, you know, contributing to the wedding. Like, you know, hey, yo, don't say I ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did what he could. It wasn't right. like he couldn't care. It's just he didn't have much, but right. 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 it counts. And like yeah. like Tim say, we ain't wearing it but one time anyway. Yo, yo, we show that all that stuff don't matter no way. Man, shoot, as much people, man, I remember how much I spent. Like, if I wish I found something that was stolen, I would have wore that shit too. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. And I mean, one like they had a big wedding anyway. They just went in right. front of the judge anyway. So right, right, right. Yeah, you know? exactly. But I did peep out Darnell and Jada was both like, mm, you both wanted to say something, but you didn't. You didn't want to yeah, ruin yeah. it, but you needed to ruin it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> was that on you guys, or was that in the script as well? That, that it was. It was in the script that uh, that I start to say something, and Jada cuts her eyes to me. So that was in the script. That was in the script. But y'all played it real because you could tell that something needed to be said. But then yeah. they're not gonna hear it. 
Right. You right, be the bad right. guy, so oh uh, well. Yeah. Go so end me with another mess. Uh -huh. it, it's it's going to be interesting how that goes. For, I mean, I don't even see how you can if he's work his business partner is. Mm. Something, you know what I mean, it, it was. It, he gonna need Darnell to take some of that rump roast off the menu. <laughs> take that off. They put put that on your plate. Fill your plate up. I I really wanted some more. I like yeah, it right. seconds, but I can't handle it. Exactly. exactly. And they, they play so well off each other. Tiff and yeah, uh, they do. Tiff and, yeah. and, and Emmett. They. It's it's a lovely cast, man. It's a lovely cast. The chemistry is really is really. Uh, you can see the chemistry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I like the show. Um, season three, a lot of people got its ups and downs. I did a poll, so 70% of people still was happy with it, which is still high. Right, right, right. And, uh, you know, some of the stuff was out of control. So, you know, they got to try to make the most of it. I think if they get a season four, you could put it together better with three and four, expand some roles, do some things, see what you know, Dom and Darnell have going on. Emmett getting mad, but can't say nothing because Tiff right. be like, "Why you mad?" Right. Uh, uh, right. She ain't focusing on the food. <laughs> like, what can he say? <laughs> Look, you writing it up already. Look, at hey you. man, I'll be working. Hey, hustle mentality. Right, right. There, you there you go. There you go. You know, so hey man, I, I love talking to you. I'm gonna uh, open it up. So okay. if people want to join, you want to ask. Uh, Rolando, any questions live on the show? You can click on this uh, link that I'm going to post, and uh, you guys can join us from YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. And uh, you can ask him some questions and chop it up with him live. All right. In the meantime, I'm going to talk about some of your other roles. You've been on Ray Donovan. That's a great uh, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Ironsides. I'm about to be the new Ironside. I'm all, I'm already <laughs> built for that role. I'm <laughs> or RoboCop. I'll be RoboCop. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, uh, they yeah. didn't even get picked up. I think it, they they canceled it after the you know. But Blair Underwood was playing Ironside. Yeah, the, yeah. Man. He's a good actor though, man. Blair yeah. been there since Crush Groove, man. Crush Groove, man. Yeah, man. He he be, he doing it. He's he, incredible actor, man. Incredible. incredible, yeah, incredible. I give it to him. Yeah. Hey, you know, I always laugh at Crush Groove that Russell Simmons got Blair Underwood to play him. You ain't no Blair Underwood, Russell, okay? Especially back then. You know, right, 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 right. No Blair Underwood. <laughs> Every time I see that, I'd be like, Russell Simmons. Right, right. <laughs> like that Dave Chappelle, uh, Dave Chappelle sketch, like playing his. Uh, he did something where he was uh, he was making fun of uh, mm -hmm. uh, that, that show, that movie, or whatever. But yeah, it's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about because we got a little something in common. A couple things. One, you uh, your mom is from Panama, or your dad? Both, both. Yeah, both. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, both, both. My parents are from Panama. Uh, I was actually first generation born in the States. So, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and you too. Right. Yeah. My mom is from Panama as well. My dad from Chicago, but my mom from Panama, I'm her first son born in the States as well. Look at that. So, you know, and we both from the South side of Chicago as well. There you go. There you go. So yeah, man, it's a small world. She from Pan Panama city. Do you know? She was born in Cologne. In Cologne, okay. Yeah, Cologne, Panama, and she lives okay. in Coronado now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. she's still there. She's yeah, but she retired from work in '98 and moved back to Panama. Got a house and every moved back, retired, and she's been living there since. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are doing that now. Yeah, I mean it's a lot cheaper, and mm -hmm. you know you get more for your money and things. So yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's 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 really crazy and unique, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also, your agent is Michelle Hayes. Hayes, oh, Talent. is yeah. that correct? That's right. That's right. That's my girl. And that's my sister. Yeah. Um. So you know what a coincidence. Small yeah. world. Small world, man. Yeah. Small world, and she's beautiful, man. I love Michelle. Oh yeah, she. There she go, right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, if anybody is interested in 
possibly pursuing a career in acting, you can hit up Michelle Hayes and Hayes Talent. Absolutely. Um, yeah, That's Facebook, wild. Instagram. Yeah. Um, and you see what she done for Rolando and many others as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, think that it's, it's just crazy how life works. And like you say, treat people right and things happen, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and I can't, and you were talking about the other roles. And I came out, I left Chicago uh, in 2006, <clears throat> came out to, to L.A., then and uh, and and it's just a whole different ball game, you know. It's you know it's almost like you're starting all over, um, you know. And you have to just be patient. You have to you know take every role, every audition. Your life can change, you know, from week to week, you know. And you just never know when it's gonna happen. You just have to you know just believe in yourself and, and keep trying, you know, and keep mm -hmm. trying. Do you find it helpful for your career that your wife is also in the same career and you guys can bounce stuff off and understand each other? Or does that, you know, sometimes you see people in that profession that don't always maybe work out or maybe no, that's just their problem and not the career problem. No, know. yeah, I think that's more their problem. It, it, it helps uh, tremendously because we both understand each other. And what's going on? I mean, it, it, you know, we can help each other uh, as far as like preparing for a role, uh, make suggestions, um, and 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 say, for instance, if you if you're going up for something that you don't get, you know, we're we're there to support each other too. Like, hey, it's all right. There's something else coming. You know what I mean? Whereas some people may be like, what? what you know, what, why are you getting all caught up over this? You know, we get it. We totally get it. You know, we each mm -hmm. other biggest fans and supporters so you know it, it the only the only way it, it 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 doesn't you know it's not helpful is because you know this up and down pay scale so we you know <laughs> right right work, work may come but work may come. that's all good man we we we, we all right we we we, get, we gonna right. keep on we're gonna keep on pushing no oh, ain't nothing wrong with that yeah and uh i don't have any real like experience in that field but i did have a couple opportunities to do some things and trying to get somebody to read with you, I, I couldn't find anybody. Like, no, they could deep papa and he called through the door. They tell me she's doing it. I'm like, man. <laughs> I'm sitting in the tape. They like, no, nah, this ain't gonna work. Right. Like, I can read. Let me do it. And they come, but I'm like, oh my God, man. <laughs> So I know it helps you when you got somebody to actually can get you something uh, man, you can get yeah. into it. Then that and think about it right now. I mean, mo mostly everything we're doing is a self tape. So, you know, we have to send in our own tapes. It's like you know, you can't go into you know to casting offices too much anymore. So, to be able to just be like, all right, yeah, we're gonna let's, let's do this early in the morning. Let's do this, you know, late at night or whenever we want to get it in. We can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So it it. It, it, it definitely helps so much, man. It helps a lot. Yeah, definitely. I can I can see how that could. Um, now, um, as far as uh, like I seen you uh, did some stuff on even Scandal mm -hmm. and uh, like Sharp Objects. Anything you uh, had any experiences with like on Scandal or Sharp Objects? Uh, well, I was I was uh, very fortunate to to get on Scandal the last season before it, it, it they uh, canceled and uh, and it was a it was a really good um, guest stars like in top of show guest star and a lot of my interactions were with Kerry Washington and uh, and it was just you know for an actor you know for for me it was just like it was it was beautiful man it was you know who how many people get to go back and forth with Kerry Washington you know and um, and she was just an incredible person, you know. An, another side story: uh, when I first came out here, just just to go to, you know, jump on top of how I was telling you before, how I don't turn nothing down. We were up. We went up. My when I came out here, and I was kind of fresh out here. My wife, she was already living out here, and she was like, you know, I'm I'm going over to um, American Film Institute. They're having an audition for this sh for a short film. She was like, you want to roll? I was like, yeah. When I got there, the person that was there was like, "You, you want auditions for this role or whatever the case may be?" It was like a, 
I don't know, kind of a gang banger kind of thing person. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And uh, and I ended up getting the role, and it was for a friend of my a friend of ours. Now uh, she has a, a foundation called Mecca Film Foundation, where you know a lot of uh, directors and actors they contribute their time to help out so that uh, uh, kids who are who um, have some kind of disability or something like that they they can help help them out and and make their film come true. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with that, it was a, a, a incredible director. Uh, Rodrigo Garcia directed it. Um, Carrie Washington uh, stepped in and, and and provided her time. Michael Ely. So I ended up getting the part, and I'm I'm on the billing with uh, Carrie Washington and Michael Ely and, and me. And, and I I was kind of fresh out, so I was just like, "Yo, this is this is dope." Like, yeah. you never yeah. know. So when I was back on Scandal. I was like, yeah, you remember? I actually, you know, I had to remind her. I was like, yeah, we we worked together before. She was like, oh my gosh, yes, that was an incredible experience. So you know, you just you never know, man. You just never know how things go, man. That's true. That's true, mm-hmm. man. That's a great uh, story. Um, I got somebody coming in to want to talk to you. I got a couple other people, but hey, make sure you guys' cameras is activated. Uh, Two people, Jay and uh, Jai, your cameras wasn't working. So make sure your cameras is working. And uh, now we got Talking and Grubbing. He's a frequent guest on my show. Good guy. Man, Chai. Um, where do you want to ask uh, Rolando uh, talking? Well, first of all, what's up, Jay? Rolando, how you doing, sir? I'm good, man. How you feeling, buddy? Well, how did you get involved with the shy? Um... I I got I got the audition. Um, um, well, actually, you know what? Let me go back. So, so first of all, that's a good question. I was um, I watched the first season because I knew a lot of friends and, and other actors that were on there. And when I watched the first season, I was like, you know what, man? I got to I got to get on this show. I, I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I got to figure out a way to get on this show. And I didn't even I didn't know in what kind of capacity or anything like that. The only thing I knew was like I was telling Jay earlier was that the, the one of the producers, uh, Shelby Stone produced me in Trapped in the Closet. So my brain started moving and I was like, all right, well, what I'm gonna do is this around this time, uh, my my uh, scandal episode was coming out and I was like, well, shoot, it's gonna be good. I'm Carol Washington. I'm gonna take a clip of that. I'm gonna get it, somehow get it to Shelby and try and pitch my way on the show. This is what I was thinking. So around that time, a friend of mine who's a producer out here, he was a producer for NCIS LA. He called me and told me he got hired by Fox 21. He's leaving NCIS LA and uh, and uh, he's you know going over to d- develop shows and wanted to, and, and help out shows. And the first show he's going to is The Shot. So I was like, dude, I was just sitting up here trying to pick my brain, trying to figure out how to get on The Shot. He's like, well, all right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to let you know when what roles are out there and this that the other, but you know you gotta you know you still gotta audition you know you know have your agent you know get you out and that stuff that that thing you gotta do your thing. I was like cool bet. So the, the roles that um, that I saw that came out again this was season two was Duda and mm-hmm. Darnell and uh, and I ended up I, I auditioned for for Darnell through Michelle on tape. Uh, initially, uh, the first time, uh, they liked me. They pretty much put a pin in me. Like they liked me for that. They all, uh, then they asked me to audition for Duda and Darnell again. I had to go in to the studio and do that. Both of them at the same time. Like I had to do Darnell, go change clothes, go back in and do Duda, and uh, and you know, man, hats off to my boy Curtis. Man, he's killing Duda. I, I'm glad I didn't get Duda. He's he's killing the role. <laughs> Uh, but then they still liked me for Darnell. Then I had a third audition. Uh, well, first I had a, a conversation, like I was on the phone with one of the directors for like an hour, just you know, breaking down the character and everything like that. And then after that, I had to do a third tape, and then that's when I ended up getting the role. So it took me three auditions to get the role. But I mean, I, I, I knew, I knew, I would be able to kill it. You know, I think from my audition, what they were kind of worried with, about was that was I understand, you know, would I, would I get the humor? Would, would I be able to pull off the, the humor? And and I'm like, yo, what I'm giving you is funny. You, 
I, I can't play like I was telling Jay. I can't play play up the last. But the but the people who are watching, they gonna get it because that's that's our culture. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it just it worked out great, and um, I'm just happy for it, man. I, I'm happy that Darnell was the role. It was the perfect role for me. Yeah. I, hope that, I hope that answers right. your question, talking to Grubber. I like that name, too. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad you do. Uh, <laughs> what funny stories you have from, you know, working on the shot? Funny stories. Hmm. Oh, who the funniest cast member or something? Something uh, like that. Uh, uh, Jacob, Jacob Lattimore, Emmett, really? Emmett. Yeah, he will. He will imitate. He he's just you know you know he he's he will watch you and then next thing you know he's going to imitate something that you do or something like that. He, he just picks up on people real easy. I, I think I posted something where he was imitating my laugh. You know, one of one of a director was he was imitating one of the, uh, one of the directors. He just but he's he's. Funny and uh, and just an incredible person to work with. Very very fortunate that I'm happy to work with. Now um, I don't know if you heard, but I do some invitations too. I do a Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, young blood. Let me go and get it right, that boy. What are you trying to do? Hey, Keisha, Keisha, is that you? <laughs> oh hell no! Hey, where y'all go? Emmett, you Emmett, Dad. <laughs> you, you, got, you got something on my 40. What are you oh, doing? You got on my 40, Emmett, Dad. Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> how, how I do? You killed it. You killed it, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he's poor, 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 poor Ronnie, man. Poor Ronnie, man. He's going right. to be pissed, too. He's going to be yeah. sick. And in Tare is his real name, right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, he doesn't even speak like that at all. No, man, he's he no, just, he don't. He did an incredible job. I mean, hopefully his voice is all right after doing it for so long. But he's man, right? He's a good person because I need some water after a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've even done it live and be like, hold on, I gotta get a little liquid right, right, right. Just like real life. I need a little liquid. Right. I wish I wish I would have had some scenes with him too, man. Yeah, had. you know what? Dang, yeah. that is you all never had some scenes, huh? It was it was it, the only time that we were on set together was right before he passed. At right the the he walked he walked past our table. And that was that was it. Sure I did. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, why you ain't chased that boy? Why you ain't chasing him? Yeah, <laughs> you know how it is when you hear a gunshot, everybody scattering. Boy. Right, I ain't think I ain't about to die for Roddy. Yeah, right, right. you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry, yeah. you messed up my son grand opening, but he'd be exactly. all right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they made him and say, Why he getting shot on my on I my know. grand opening? That was cold. That was cold. Right. That was cold. <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> right. But you know, you know, but but I don't know what that people know. think though, huh? Yeah, hey, that was cold, but that was real because yeah. I know people would have said that. And if I was him, I might have, <laughs> you like, know, man, but, I mean, Jada put him in his place, but you know, shoot, you would you would think that though. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, talking, you want to ask uh, Rolando anything else? Well, I do remember you from the trapped in the closet video. Do people still come up to you about that? I know they come up to you about the shot. Do people still come up to you about trapped in the closet? What was yeah, doing yeah. that video like? Yeah. Oh man, it was it was incredible, man. It, like you know, of course, meeting my wife, but you know, just being on on set with with with, with Rob, uh, and you know, he he was one thing I did like. He was he was real cool. He was you know easy you know easy going. He didn't come on with any airs or anything like that. But what we would forget sometimes, you know, all my stuff was with me and my, my wife, but sometimes we would, you know, be rehearsing and he would be singing the part, you know, singing it. And and we'd be just be like, damn, this motherfucker sound just like R. Kelly. <laughs> he is R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it wasn't a joke. He really, really was. I mean, it's like you got a, you got a concert like up close and personal. It was just like incredible because he would he would sing it full out. Like he would just be singing it. You know, mm -hmm. it would be just incredible, man. But I mean, I I remember doing it and thinking to myself like I don't know how 
uh, it, it was going to change, but I just knew this was something that was different and nobody else had ever done it before. I knew yeah. it was something big. Definitely, definitely. Talking, so I'm uh, uh, going to... Oh. I was going to try to get a couple questions from Ja before Rolando got to go. He got to go in a few minutes. So, um, you know, I'll let you, you know, say what's up before I, I cut you out. You say... You said want to say any last words to talk, uh, Rolando talking? So the lady that's your wife in the video. I said last words, not last question. All right. <laughs> that's my boy. He got it. John, what's up, man? You got a question for him before, we, before he go? Yo, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm good, bro. How you, how you feel? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm blessed to be here. I can't complain, man. I came here, man. Same. Be carrying on the show. Um, number one fan, and uh, definitely be looking forward to season four. Looking I appreciate forward. that, man. I appreciate that. That's love, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Where you, where you, where you, where you stay? I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. All right, all right, Charlotte. Oh, yeah. I've been home there. My, 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 uh, my, my wife's uh, have family out there, so we, we, I, I get to Charlotte, uh, you know, almost every year. It's just this year, I hadn't got a chance to get out there, but you know, COVID. Oh, okay. So I, I got yeah. a question for you. Yeah. Right quick. Uh, sure. So like, what is a uh, like? What's the difference between a um, an executive producer and a regular producer? Like, what do they do? Hmm. That's a good question. I know one thing. I ain't one of them. <laughs> but, uh, but you know what? I, what I'm the executive. What I, I believe spending the money, right? Yeah. Well, you know, there there's um there there's different levels of producers. There's some producers who are there for like, um, if you're a writer on the show, your your promotion is to get a producer credit. So you could be writing on the show, but you're also a producer on the show. Okay. Then you have producers like Lena Way created the show. So she created it and she's a producer. Then you have some producers who are there, uh, you know, they're bringing in their their resource, resources or, or, or money. You have the producers like Common, who's his, you know, he started with Lena, so he's also a producer, but but every the different producers, um, and you know, and, and, and I could be getting this wrong, but I just see, I, from what I see, is that there's different levels of, of producers. And I wish I can get one, I'm sure. I'll take any one of them. <laughs> I hear that. Bigger titles get bigger checks, right? Exactly. <laughs> right. And uh yeah, so that's pretty that's cool. Great, great question though, man. Great question though. Now Jai, you got uh, another question, anything you want to ask him or say about the show? Yeah, um like what like well like well what you think the future's looking like for your uh, character, the role you play? Um I I think it looks good, you know. For one, I didn't get I didn't die. So well, yeah, that's always a good thing. <laughs> always a good thing. You know, right. Only the one, the only one didn't. Right, right. right. <laughs> but I, I think it looks good. I think that I think that um, you know, season two, people got I got introduced, and I think season three, the way that season three wrapped up, I was in like in the last two episodes, and I think the fan base of Darnell, you know, because it was because he does kind of bring the comic relief and people kind of relate to him. I think that they took notice, you know, they took notice. Like I, I was telling Jay, I, I had the uh, interview with, uh, with Lena and she was just like, yo, we got, we got more for you. You know what I mean? Uh, and I think that that, I think it's going to, I think it, hopefully it, it happens in, in season four and when season four hits, uh, because I mean, I'm ready for it, man. I, I can do anything. Shoot. I got a question for you that I just thought of Yeah, yeah. season four. Okay. Dom and you, they start developing into uh, a romance. Then it's love scenes come. How's your wife going to say, man, you know you ain't got no love scenes in season four, right? <laughs> or is she going to say, hey, I know, go ahead. I know you got to do all of that. That's just acting. Hey, I think it, it might be a little bit of both, but at the end of the day, <laughs> Right. Hey, we got the we Depends got the, on right. the details. <laughs> right, right, right. And you know, she's you know, and the thing is, like, uh, even even um, 
what I do, what I love is that is that it, it's always very professional, you know. And, and even when when I had the the scene in the kitchen and I was pushing up, you know, it's, it's very like choreographed. Like I'm, you know, yo, can I? I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be right here. Is this, is this, you know, I'm talking. I'm like, is this cool with you? You know, you know, I'm trying to just be respectful, you know. So, you know, it, and it's, and it's all out of love. It's Which of makes love. sense in today's day and age too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things yeah. can be taken, you know, out of context easier. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, man, that's I appreciate the honesty. You know, yeah, I mean, that's sure. real. You know, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Some people act as if, you know, oh, it's nothing, it's just this, or, you know, one way or the other, so. No, I think, I think it's better. I mean, you know, you still got to make it look real, but, I mean, through the rehearsal and through the uh, process of it, you you, you just got to get the technicalities <laughs> out of it so that, that, you know, everyone feels comfortable. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. um, I know you got to got a couple other things you got lined up that you told me. Um, John, yeah. you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, I can't even think of nothing else. But I really sorry, do appreciate sorry. you guys. Hey man, look, hey, yeah. I'm just I'm just glad that you jumped on, Ja. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, man. I'm going to keep watching the show. We definitely, you know, looking forward to a season four. So, me too, bro. Pray it me all too. works out. Love, man. Appreciate you. All right, all right. love you guys. Have a blessed night. All right, all right. you too, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey man, I appreciate it, man. That was cool, man. Um, I'm trying to get a couple of these questions. Uh, these guys over here saying before we go, he say, "My God, Jay, get the whole cast up here." <laughs> um, he probably saying that because uh, you know Ahmad Ferguson, he came on here, and that's the, the kid that shot Ronnie. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so we talked, and so I guess now you're the second one uh, okay. from the cast in two weeks. Okay, so, okay. You know. I don't know. Maybe it, it could become a thing. Hopefully, you know. Hey man, why not? Why not? Like you say, what you got to lose? Guess got to go for it. You know. Yeah, there you go. There you, you go. Know? Yeah. And my story, as far as this, is similar. Like you say, you was going to do it, and you really wasn't saying nothing or telling anybody. When I started, I was just making videos. I didn't tell family or friends or nothing until I had like maybe fifty videos up, and I just wanted to see what people thought. And if I could do it or not, if they enjoyed right. it. And right. then as people would say and comment and like stuff, I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm doing. But they like what I'm saying. I don't know nothing about a computer or make a video or nothing. Okay. But it's if so they like it, I'm going to keep working at it. There you go. Now I could do stuff on a computer I would have never thought I would know how to do, you know. You know, I tell people all the time, it's not it's not a sprint. It's a, mar you know, it's a marathon. You know, we in it for the long haul. So, you know, you keep, you start here, you're going to, who knows, you know, sky's the limit, man. Sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And that's one thing I try to be an example to my son that anything could happen, that it could be out of your control. But what you do control is how you react to it. Exactly. And exactly. what are you going to be? Are you going to be a person that let stuff crumble you and make you fold? Or is it going to make you stronger? Are you going to figure out ways to still overcome, still take care of responsibilities? You know, and so that's why I always just try to do that. And hopefully it rubs off on him, you know. And it, and will. And it will. And that's that's exactly what we got to do, you know, especially, you know, with the with the. Um, I mean, you're doing the right thing, but with all the, the nonsense and everything like that, that's that's going on with uh, in Chicago and a lot of the cities and stuff like that. You know, we, what we need, what the young people need are are strong leaders and, and, and role models, you know what I mean? To, that they can look up to. Mm-hmm, definitely. That's my boy, Lyle. Oh, okay. Hey, man, I'm glad he uh, checked you out, man. He appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. We go back. We go back like 20-some years. That's my brother, man. We, we we doing plays way back when, man. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I saw that comment and got it up there for you. Yeah, I'm glad you did, too. That's my yeah. Yeah, hey, man, that's what's up. Yeah, and, you know, that's what's really – important is good friendships too like when you get older you realize you ain't gonna have but two three if you're lucky right, right, you know right. and it really is important a brotherhood so you know i got some friends i got my friends since fourth grade and we went to fourth through eighth then we went to high school together college together right, right, all right. through the job this and 
So, you know, it's so much. He out in L.A. now. We don't catch up as much. But if I see him in two, three years, it's like just yesterday. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, yeah. man, that's, that's good, man. So, um, you know, I know you said you had some things going on. It's been a great interview. I appreciate, you know, all your honesty. And, you know, it's been great talking to you. Same um, here, Jay. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for bringing me on, bro. Uh, no problem, man. Thanks for coming really, on. It was really good, man. It was really nice, man. I love the setup and everything, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Just oh, like oh, I, you succeed. You succeed. Hey, thank you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Like I try to tell people, because some people look at YouTube as maybe just videos, but each channel is like a television network, NBC, Fox, whatever. And I'm trying to run my station, you know what I mean, and try to do what I can to make oh, it entertaining. Yeah, you're the executive producer. There you go. <laughs> and producer and talent and I, I'm everything. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but you know, hey, as it grows, then I can hire some people like there the executive producer to do some of the other stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, hey, that's what I'm working on, man. And hey, I appreciate you helping me on my journey, you know, with content and great interviews. I appreciate it. I love the show, love the work. And uh, even though I make jokes or, you know, impersonations, it's all in love. I ain't, you know. Absolutely. Hey, look, when we do season four, man, I'll come on back, man. We can chop it up some more. Hey, man, I love that, man. I appreciate it. And anything else you want to talk about anytime, you're more than welcome, man. For sure. I appreciate you, bro. All right. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you. You take care. All right, man. All take right. Care. Yep. Well, hey, y'all, there you have it. That was Rolando Boyce from The Shy. Great interview. Great conversation. Cool, cool dude. Um, I'm thankful and appreciative you came on the show. Talk with me. Talk with my fans. Um, anytime you want to talk about anything, you're more than welcome. Um, my platform, you can always talk. So um, I'm going to get a couple of these questions you guys got. And then I'm going to get out of here myself. Um, let's see. Me, myself, and Irene, new to your channel. Love the shy. Well, I'm glad that uh, you love the shy. Glad you found the channel. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Um, learned a few things about Rolando. And, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Support. You enjoyed it. I appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. You guys all help make it great with your comments um everybody come on talking and grubbing ja and uh talking you know i love you bro ain't nothing personal i'm just you know you know i gotta make a joke in there anyway but uh i'm just trying to get to everybody it's all good um yeah no problem man hey i appreciate them coming on the show and chopping it up um and uh you know it's been great um kwan you crazy you think he going to get Jada pregnant in season four? That would be something. How would Emmett react if now Jada is having another baby with Darnell? <laughs> that would be a lot of drama. That would definitely be interesting in some storylines. Hey, I appreciate the sub. Thanks. Uh, appreciate you. Nicole, uh, thanks, sis, for all your appreciation and support. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, Cash money, everybody. Y'all been great. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Sally, thanks for all your support. Everybody that supported me in Super Chat, I saw it, but I couldn't get to it while we was doing the live interview. Um, but Fudgy Babe and I think Sally, I believe, I appreciate y'all. You guys been great. And, uh, you know, we're going to make this journey together. This channel wouldn't be where it is without y'all help and support. I appreciate you all, and I'm out of here. Peace.